Big John here, and uh, you might notice I've got a couple of pocket pistols out here today. And I kind of wanted to compare uh, some of the, uh, at least some of my observations about the advantages and disadvantages between a, a semi-automatic uh, pocket pistol and a, re and a revolver. Um, I think there's definitely some things to be considered, um, and I am definitely uh, will admit some bias because I've carried this thing religiously for the past two years. This thing has been in my pocket every day, and uh, it's just been great because it's such a small, small little gun. And a little side note too, one thing I always do, you should do this with any carry gun, especially a pocket gun, because one, one of the disadvantages of carrying a pocket is, imagine that, there's pocket lint in your pocket, <laughs> and uh, and it can get in, get in the gun, down the barrel, in the magazine, all that kind of thing. So you do want to take your gun out and clean it, of course, and sometimes I'm bad about not doing that, but one thing that that you should do is every now and then you should go to the range wherever it is that you can shoot and and without without doing anything to it without checking it out changing the ammo or anything just pull your gun out just like how it's been for the past months that you've been carrying it and just fire it and see if it works find out if you would have been killed or not <laughs> and uh, i've done that experiment several times and there's been times where i pulled my gun out that man what was i thinking i'd let this thing get too linted up and i'd fired it you know and it worked just fine so pretty happy with this little car uh, p380 but anyways so the, the first of all talk about the size which is the first issue one thing with a revolver now i know the uh, the kiapa rhino changes the game a little bit on this and i'm not familiar with that gun so i'm not really going to address that one but typically with a revolver you can't get away from a certain amount of thickness just because of the fact that it's a revolver the way that the way that it's designed uh, the cylinder has to be a certain size for you to have any kind of uh, capacity. Um, so you can't, you can't basically you can't get a revolver as typically as thin as you can an automatic, just strictly because of the way that the gun functions. And in this example, I have the Car P380, which is one is one of the smallest or smaller um, 380s. Uh, it's basically, I think, about the same size as the Glock 42 and, uh, and the LCP. The Glock 42 has a little longer slide, but basically about the same size as several of those. And this, in this situation, at least, uh, you can see that the uh, the 642 by Smith and Wesson is noticeably thicker, mainly because of the cylinder and the grip. Of course, is a little fatter, which it feels great. The grip does feel great. So it's a little thicker. So to carry it in your pocket. Um, unless you have big old baggy tactical cargo pants, uh, which I never wear, um, it's going. Uh, this revo this revolver and most revolvers uh, are going to bulge a little bit. Uh, now, your average person may not even be able to tell what that is. They might just think it's a big wad of cash or something, whatever it is you got in your pocket. Uh, but it's more likely to print. That may not be something that bothers you. Another thing too is revolvers, typically because of how they're designed. An automatic tends to be a little bit more, um, I don't know, ergonomic, I guess, in some sense of where it's, you know, it's basically like this. This is what you have with the automatic. You've got the, the slide and barrel and the grip straight up, you know. But with a revolver, it's more of a kind of a boomerang kind of shape a lot of times, uh, which has its advantages, of course. Uh, but it ends up making the gun longer. And uh, with most revolvers, it's harder to get away from. Something with a revolver being a little bit uh, longer. Um, so I, I did this. I carried this gun for a little while in my pocket, actually, a few years ago, and that was one thing I noticed that it, uh, the grip almost. If I didn't have really deep pockets, the grip almost wanted to kind of st almost stick out of my pocket. Like it didn't feel like I could even get the thing all the way down in there, almost, uh, because you can see here it's it's quite a bit it's quite a bit longer. It's pretty noticeable, pretty noticeable difference with these two guns, at least. And, it, and these two guns are a fairly accurate representation of what you're going to get with the differences between a semi-auto small gun and a little like, J-frame revolver. Um, and it, now, if you were um, going to carry a, um, a, a nine in a pocket pistol, a smaller gun, then it's going to be a little closer in size probably. Um, but some of the pocket nines aren't quite small enough to be a pocket gun um, necessarily. But now the, the other issue is um, especially with the pocket 380s uh, compared to this is, is capacity now with with this one in most pocket 380s you get six plus one so you have basically seven rounds of 380 
and with most revolvers of size, you have five of uh, 38. Now I know there's some other calibers where you can have six in this in this uh, size of revolver, but but mainly I'm talking about the 38. So now 38 is similar to a nine millimeter, a little bit hotter. Definitely has more uh, upside potential than a nine. So you have you have more more power when it comes to comparing the 380, especially um, to the uh, to the 38. So that's an advantage. You, but you get an extra two rounds with the 380, and you could argue that as far as actual impact on the aggressor that you're trying to stop, you know, their action or its action, whatever it might be, um, maybe it doesn't make that big of a difference. Maybe the difference between 380. And, and 38 might show you a lot on a chronograph, but not much when it actually comes to like stopping a, a real threat. So maybe capacity could be an advantage because it might give you more chances uh, to, to get that hit in the right spot. So that, that's one way to look at it. Also, when it comes to reloading uh, speed, I think most people uh, can probably find, find it easier to, to reload a, a magazine fed gun. Just because it's just, you know, when it comes to reloading a revolver, people that really know what they're doing, I mean, you can pop the speed loaders in really fast. But the average person that's not as familiar with revolvers, you're going to have trouble with that. Another thing, too, speed loaders, um, if you use those, they take up a lot of space in your pocket because they're big and round. Uh, and you can use those little speed strips, but then those really make it harder to reload. So reloading is a little bit more of an ordeal with the revolver in most cases. Um, and typically with an automatic, it's just an, it's an easier proposition and you could carry, um, two magazines almost as easy. You could carry one of the, you know, the speed loaders a lot of times. Uh, so, you know, I kind of, I kind of like to, I like, I like reloading uh, automatics better. I just, which, which, which also brings me to another point is it also comes down to your experience, your experience level. I don't have as much as experience as, uh, with revolvers as I do with automatics. I didn't grow up shooting. Well, I, okay, I did grow up shooting them, but I didn't um, grow up shooting them in the sense of like they were the only gun. Basically, I, uh, I shot automatics a lot more. I never really um, became uh, extremely proficient at at, um, at at mastering that double action uh, trigger pull. And of course, reloading. I mean, it's a totally, it's a totally different thing. I mean, it's, it's almost like, you know, it's like PC versus Mac. It's a totally different operating system. You know, it, it's, uh, it's, it's totally different. And if you haven't had a lot of experience with it, you're just not going to find yourself at, at anywhere near as proficient with the revolver setup uh, as you would with a semi-automatic. And I think a lot of people, especially my generation, and with all the new shooters and the fact that automatics dominate the market now, I think. There's a lot of people that will probably find a small pocket 380 or maybe a pocket 9 a little more comfortable and uh, just a little bit more familiar uh, to them. But, but, I mean, that would be totally up to you because I know there's some guys out there that they would do way better th with a revolver than they ever could with something like this. So, you know, it just kind of depends on your preference. Well, I'm going to quit talking about all that nonsense and uh, shoot these things, see if I can tell a difference. Maybe I'm better with a revolver than I thought. Who knows? Oh, yeah. One thing too, a little uh, added information. Um, I like to keep my, my shooting glasses really dirty because it gives you um, extra training, you know, because you have it, because in a, uh, in, a, in a situation, you know, there might be obstructions, you know, things like that to your vision. So it's good to have really nice and dirty glasses. So, you know. Uh, even though this is, uh, you know, this thing is, uh, you know, automatic, it um, it has it has basically, for the most part, a double action. It's, it's a striker fired gun, but it has it has kind of a double action trigger pull. So, uh, but it but it's a little bit lighter than that. find even though this gun is really small and I have really big hands being 6'8 that I actually shoot it I'm not gonna say well but well enough for sure for what it is and what it's supposed to do
and it uh, seems to be pretty reliable. I mean, when you have a gun this small, you're asking a lot of it reliability-wise. I've never had any problems out of it. It seems to, seems to work, the old car P380. All right, I'm going to shoot the uh, 642 here. Again, I'm just not as not quite as uh, familiar with revolvers, so that so a lot of my bias probably shows in that regard. I definitely noticed more recoil with this because you know it's a hotter round. Um, and I just don't, I just don't feel as comfortable with it. But uh, you definitely have uh, versatility with the with the small J frames. There's even some I think that are chambered in 357 Magnum that I think aren't much bigger than this if they're not the same size. But man, in a in a uh, a light alloy frame revolver, that would be that'd be a handful. Even if you can, ha that, that's the thing about recoil. Even if you can handle handle recoil, handling recoil on the range. Now, I've never been in a shootout, but, I, but something tells me that handling recoil on a range when you're shooting at targets is a little bit different when your life is in jeopardy. I think it's going to be, but who, it, might, it could be either way. It might be more, the recoil might be noticed more dramatically, or it might be not even noticed it at all because you're so tense. Who knows? I don't, but something to think about. This thing does feel good, though, I have to say. Tell you what though, when it's cold outside and your hands are cold, this is not the kind of gun you want to shoot a thousand rounds of, that's for sure. It, it hurts a little bit with cold hands. And this thing is comfortable, I mean it is sweet to shoot. Uh, but just like with any double action, uh, and it has kind of that double action kind of trigger pull, it's easy to, it's easy to pull it down a little bit. But basically in a nutshell, I mean I personally prefer the the automatics, um, you know, I just like a, I just like an auto pistol for, for a pocket carry, just because they're thinner, easier to reload. Um, I'm more familiar with them. Uh, this one especially seems to be mostly reliable. Uh, revolvers are not 100% reliable, like they say, like some people say, uh, but they can be uh, in certain certain circumstances. Um, more reliable than automatics just kind of depends um, but man I really love how everybody's coming out with these little 380s and pocket single sack nines and all this stuff because these things if nothing else they give you uh, a lot more options and to me they're I think they're the way to go but but if you're a revolver guy man it doesn't get much better than this for a pocket revolver they're pretty sweet little any of these little uh, light light alloy frame revolvers are great but anyways, hopefully um, some of that meant something to some of you. And uh, either way, uh, enjoy shooting these things. But I'll talk to you guys next time.